This machine looks like a twisted sculpture from a sci-fi movie, but it just shook the entire energy industry. What's happening right now here? It's the cover of the reactor being assembled up top. In a quiet German town, scientists have done the unthinkable, keeping superheated plasma stable for eight whole minutes. So yes, it's a well-behaved plasma. And that's longer than any fusion reactor of its kind has ever managed. The incredible part? They weren't even running at full power. What they achieved could change everything we know about energy itself. While the world watched France's massive ITER project rise from the ground, Germany was racing ahead with something stranger, smaller, and far more ambitious. A machine called the Wendelstein 7X. It looks bizarre, like a metallic pretzel from another world. But this isn't art. It's one of the most complex scientific instruments ever built, and it could bring us clean, limitless power. No meltdowns, no carbon, no waste just pure energy born from the same process that powers the sun. Tucked away in the small coastal town of Greifswald, Germany, the Wendelstein 7X hums quietly in its vast laboratory. It doesn't split atoms like nuclear plants do. It fuses them. That's the dream. Fusion energy, the holy grail of clean power. After nearly 20 years of construction, the machine came alive. In 2022, it stunned scientists everywhere by holding plasma stable for eight straight minutes. That wasn't just a record, it was a revolution. Most fusion machines struggle to hold plasma for even a few seconds before it collapses, but this thing did it calmly, perfectly, like it was born for it. Most people thought the next big breakthrough would come from France's ITER, the dollar 20 billion mega project built by a global alliance. But while ITER was still under construction, Germany quietly switched on its strange new machine, a Stellarator. Unlike the simpler, donut-shaped tokamak design that dominates the world's fusion programs, the Stellarator looks chaotic. Its magnetic coils twist and curve in impossible shapes, designed to hold plasma steady, without relying on a strong internal current. Tokamaks need that current to keep the plasma stable, but it's also their weakness. When it wobbles, things go wrong. Germany wanted to fix that problem for good. The W7X was their gamble, a billion dollar bet on complexity. Where others saw impossibility, German scientists saw a path forward. And they built it with a level of precision, bordering on obsession. Every coil, every pipe, every magnetic curve had to be perfect to a fraction of a millimeter. If anything was off, even slightly, the plasma would escape and the experiment would fail. They spent years modeling magnetic fields on supercomputers, shaping them into elegant, chaotic forms that could trap plasma like a cage made of invisible lines. The result was an engineering masterpiece. Inside the reactor, temperatures soar to 20 million degrees Celsius, hotter than the core of the sun. Yet just a few meters away, the superconducting magnets must stay at 270 degrees, colder than deep space. That's a greater temperature difference than between an ice cube and the sun's surface. To handle it, engineers built one of Europe's largest liquid helium cooling systems. Thousands of meters of pipes circulate the heart of the reactor, keeping everything perfectly balanced. The precision required is unreal. When they first turned it on, the magnetic field matched the theoretical model almost perfectly, less than one-tenth of a percent off. That's not luck. That's mastery. That's German engineering at its best. Most fusion experiments celebrate if they can keep plasma alive for a few seconds. But late in 2022, the Wendelstein 7X held it for eight minutes. Eight minutes of roaring plasma at 20 million degrees. Eight minutes of stability. No meltdown, no flicker, no collapse. The plasma remained confined, dense and hot. It was a message to the world. Fusion no longer had to be a fleeting spark. It could be sustained. And remember, this was just a test. The reactor wasn't yet at full capacity. It was using temporary cooling systems. Once the permanent setup is complete, scientists expect it to last even longer, maybe half an hour, maybe more. The goal is clear, continuous fusion, steady and controlled, the holy grail of energy. Why does it matter so much? Because the kind of nuclear energy we've used for decades, fission, 
comes with baggage. It splits atoms apart, generating dangerous radioactive waste that lasts for thousands of years. If something goes wrong, it can lead to disasters like Chernobyl or Fukushima. Fusion is different. It fuses light atoms instead of splitting heavy ones. It uses hydrogen isotopes, abundant in seawater, and produces helium, a harmless gas. There's no carbon, no long-lived waste, no chain reaction waiting to spiral out of control. If anything fails, the reaction just stops. It's self-limiting by nature. Fusion is clean, safe, and practically endless. For 60 years, it's been called the energy of the future. And for 60 years, it was always said to be 30 years away. Until now. Germany's breakthrough changed the conversation. The Wendelstein 7X proved that fusion doesn't have to be unstable. It doesn't have to be short-lived or unpredictable. It can be steady. It can be engineered. And that realization sent shockwaves through the global scientific community. At first, most researchers shrugged it off. Another fusion experiment, another headline. But then the data arrived. The numbers didn't lie. Stability, duration, control, everything was better than expected. Suddenly at international conferences, everyone was talking about the W7X. Scientists from Princeton, Japan and China wanted to know how Germany had done it. Even veteran researchers admitted that the results were forcing them to rethink everything they thought they knew about fusion design. Dr. Elizabeth Sykes from Princeton summed it up perfectly. We may need to rethink everything. And she wasn't alone. Japan accelerated its own Stellarator program. China launched new initiatives inspired by Germany's design. American universities began diverting resources to Stellarator research. Even private fusion companies took notice. Investors who once poured millions into Tokamak startups started writing checks for Stellarator ventures. Renaissance Fusion in France raised millions to develop its own compact version of the technology. Suddenly, this strange, twisted machine from Germany had changed the direction of the entire industry. Governments reacted fast. The European Union increased its fusion budget by 15%, directing much of that funding towards Stellarator research. Germany went even further, pledging half a billion dollars to scale up the Wendelstein program. They want to move beyond experiments and build a prototype reactor capable of generating real power for the grid. At the same time, Germany's Federal Office for Radiation Protection began drafting the world's first official fusion-specific safety framework. Until now, no country has had laws designed for fusion energy, only fission. Germany intends to change that, turning scientific progress into national infrastructure. It's not just about experiments, it's about industry, jobs and power. The next phase is already planned. Engineers are upgrading the reactor with stronger magnets, more efficient cooling, and advanced materials. By 2027, they aim to sustain plasma for 30 minutes straight. That would be revolutionary, approaching continuous operation. Beyond that lies the next generation project, codenamed WX. This won't just study plasma, it will generate net power. It's the first real step toward a commercial fusion reactor. The road is still long, Challenges remain with tritium fuel cycles, heat extraction, and material durability. But the momentum is unstoppable. With each success, fusion feels less like a dream and more like destiny. And Germany isn't doing this alone. Fusion has always been both a race and a collaboration. Even competitors now share data. The French ITER project, once seen as the rival, is adopting control techniques pioneered by W7X. China is sending teams of scientists to train in Greifswald. In return, Germany is consulting on China's own Stellarator designs. Despite political tensions, cooperation continues as fusion transcends borders. Princeton's new Quasar project in the US is reviving Stellarator research, using insights from W7X and new American superconductors. Fusion startups across Europe and North America are pivoting towards this approach. Japan has proposed a global Stellarator alliance, and Germany is all in. The world isn't just competing anymore. It's uniting, one magnetic field at a time.
This machine is more than metal and magnets. It's a turning point, a symbol of what's possible when a nation refuses to follow and chooses to lead. Germany didn't wait for others. While the world watched the giants, they built quietly, precisely, relentlessly. And when they finally flipped the switch, they didn't just light up plasma, they lit up hope. Eight minutes of fusion might sound small, but in the world of energy, it's a leap as big as flight or electricity. It proved that we can make our own stars, hold them steady, and maybe one day power the planet with them. In the end, the Wendelstein 7X is more than a machine. It's proof that human ingenuity can reach the heart of the sun. It's the spark that could light a global transformation. In a world desperate for clean power and a stable climate, Germany didn't just dream of the future. They built it quietly, precisely, beautifully. The rest of us are finally catching up. This isn't science fiction anymore. The Wendelstein 7X has changed the game, and somewhere inside that twisted sculpture of steel and plasma, the future is already burning bright.